Hey, welcome back on this Friday morning. So we do have increased rain chances today extending into this weekend as we start to shift into a more unsettled and active pattern. So for the western UP, I have depicted here ironwood in this line graph. This is the timeline of when you can essentially start to expect those rain showers for the western UP. Late in the morning, you can see that spike there and then kind of continuing throughout the day with an even greater spike later on tonight. Let's take a look at the central UP. There's a clear difference there. So places like Marquette probably won't see a few of these rain showers until after 3 o'clock in into the afternoon and then again for tomorrow morning. And then if you're in the far eastern areas of the UP, the blue line depicts those eastern areas, places like Newberry. You're dry today, essentially extending into a good chunk of tomorrow. So a lot of things happening this weekend, some graduations out there. If there's a graduation later on this evening, I think overall should be okay. A little bit though, more on the cloudy side of things, temperatures into the 60s and on the west end again, a few of those rain showers as this weakening frontal boundary gets a little bit closer. So it's going to continue to weaken as it moves in. So it's going to lose its energy. So we're not expecting severe weather out of this. High pressure is departing out of the region. High level clouds have already moved in across the west end ahead of that frontal boundary. And here's your hour by hour. One o'clock in the afternoon. A few more of those scattered rain showers working into the western counties. Here's five o'clock. A few starting to clip the central areas of the UP. You see here across the east staying dry. More of a mix of sun and clouds out there. Winds out of the south today ranging at around 10 to potentially 15 miles per hour. And then tonight another surge of moisture mainly again for the western UP. This is midnight tonight. Here's tomorrow morning continuing in that very same area because that frontal boundary kind of continues to dissipate just west of us so it doesn't completely move on through. This is uh, tomorrow morning and then eventually as that shift sees, we'll start to tap into some of that in the central counties by tomorrow midday. A few spotty rain showers to linger into tomorrow afternoon. Sunday for the most part looks good with more in the way of some sunshine and clouds. However, due to daytime heating of the day, we could have a few of these little isolated pop up uh, rain showers that are really fast and uh, short lived. So that's what's happening for this upcoming weekend. Rainfall amounts doesn't look super impressive for the central or the eastern areas. The west end where we do get those few rounds of rain, light to steady rain, we'll see at around uh, half of an inch of rain locally higher amounts could be possible. Right now this morning starting off with clear skies on the east end at the Mackinac Bridge. Really nice view there. Temperatures into the 70s for interior areas today with 60s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes. 68 is where we're supposed to be at. We're going to have some similar temperature ranges tomorrow, uh, but that cloud cover will really keep those interior places kind of settled into closer to 70 degrees and a few low 70s. More active into next week, potentially widespread.